Talking on Good Morning Britain Julia's big sister Gina Bradbury chatted to Richard Madeley and Susanna Reid to give viewers an update on her sister's breast cancer journey. The presenter who told the Mail on Sunday at the time of her diagnosis that her plan is to come through it and out the other side is said to be taking it a day at a time. Gina, who was the one to drive Julia to the appointment where she was advised to go for a biopsy, said, she's fine, she's recovering. She continued to say, I was in the car, I drove her to see the consultant and she was longer than expected. Within a week she was diagnosed. It was very fast. Going through the tough experience Julia is now urging women to not ignore warning signs. Earlier this year Julia said, being scared of a diagnosis could be the thing which kills you. So learn what to look for and check, check, check. Dementia the mineral exceptionally low in 76% of people that slows brain decline breast cancer is the most common type of cancer in the UK, explains the NHS. About 1 in 8 women are diagnosed with the condition during their lifetime meaning it is vital for women and men to check their breasts regularly. The NHS adds that the first noticeable signs and symptoms of breast cancer is a lump or area of thickened breast tissue. Other symptoms that could be a sign of breast cancer include the following a change in the size or shape of one or both breasts discharge from either of your nipples, which may be streaked with blood a lump or swelling in either of your armpits dimpling on the skin of your breasts a rash on or around your nipple a change in the appearance of your nipple such as becoming sunken into your breast. Pfizer booster shot, the third shot side effect that makes daily activities impossible, insight hypertension diet, the two-piece snack that can lower blood pressure and high cholesterol, tips Lorraine Kelly Health, the star told to get help after horrible condition, latest, although many lumps are not cancerous it is always best to have them checked by medical professionals. Breast pain is not usually a symptom of breast cancer. In order to detect breast cancer individuals are usually sent for a mammographic screening. This is an X-ray picture of the breast and can detect breast cancer up to three years early. Although the process of a mammogram may be uncomfortable or painful it only takes a few moments. Talking about the process on Good Morning Britain, Susanna asked Gina whether advice would be to women who are put off going through the process due to the painful element. Gina replied, just do it, there is no excuse we have the most amazing health service we are blessed. There is no excuse not to do it, it is painful but if it saves your life, why not do it? As the risk of breast cancer increases with age, all women who are 50 to 70 years old are invited for breast cancer screening every three years. For those diagnosed with breast cancer there is a combination of treatment available. Most commonly this includes surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Like Julia, one of these treatments is a mastectomy, an operation to remove a breast. This type of surgery is recommended if the cancer is in a large area of the breast, it has spread throughout the breast or if the breast is full of precancerous cells. Tweeting a picture from a hospital bed the 51-year-old said that she had overwhelming anxiety before undergoing a mastectomy. She continued to say that she was sad that such a brutal procedure is necessary. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Julia is heading up the campaign for encouraging everyone to get checked. 